welcome back everyone and for those that have just joined us for the first time my name is Roku and welcome to my channel today I'm going to be reviewing a Russian beer that I can't pronounce and I don't know the meaning or the translation of this beer so I need a little help that will either come in the form of Google Translate later on when I'm uploading this or maybe one of you guys can help me out and tell me what it means if you can read speak Russian anyway we are here with a Russian beer there we go that's the name of it it's all in Russian so I can't pronounce it I don't know what it means and it comes with this little uh, honorary thing there which again is in Russian that looks like hops I'm guessing there we go so there's the name of it and it comes in at 4.7 uh, I can translate that, that means alcohol, very simple. Um, a very, very clean, pure looking beer. i got to admit this is probably one of the better looking beers that I've seen in a very, very long time. Just see the carbonation there. It's a very clean beer, this. Very clean, pure looking. I mean, look at the bubbles there, very good. And the head, well, the head is a different story. That is just astonishing. Look at that. Great big head. The reason I put my hand there is just so you can see, because otherwise it blends in the background. You can't really see, so just ignore my hand. But um, there we go. Here's the head. Looks okay to me from where I'm standing. Um, again, I'm just going to just notice the clarification of this bit. Just look how clear that is. You get a glimpse underneath the head, even that the bubbles still stream underneath the head. Very, very good. As I said, and I'm going to say it again, probably one of the better looking beers I've seen in a long time. Right, uh, the cap then is very interesting, unlike any other that I've seen. Uh, a nice picture of the windmill, as per on the bottle there, so there we go. Lovely stuff, nice nice green colour that, it's like a emerald green is it, bottle green? I don't know, who gives a shit? Anyway. Onto the beer now then. Um, I've had a type of this before. It was by the same company, same logo, but just different version of this beer. And that was going back probably two to three years ago, if not longer. So it's been a while. It has. Right, so first appearances, fucking 10 out of 10 for appearances. That is, that's just really cool. Love it. Um, on with the smell then. Some interesting smells. I'm getting a, a breath of fresh air. That fresh smell. With what smells like quite a bit of barley. A hint of malt. Actually, wait, I think that's hop. A hint of hop. Yeah, definitely a hint of hop. Kind of hayish um, cereal smell as well. Yeah, more so the cereal smell than anything. But very, very clean smelling and very pure. Right, I'm now going to get on and try some of this then. I love that head. That's, that is a good head. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, you have to excuse the camera. There we go, because it is crap. Um, a bit of lacing there. I'm sure once I've gulped a bit more of this, you'll see a bit more lacing. I'm almost certain of that. Right, so what I've got then is the head is... Um, it's 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 light. I, I, how, do we, how do we explain the head on this? Light, foamy... Very, very frothy, silky, smooth, um, soft is the word, I suppose. Very soft head, um, if you can even get a soft head. But uh, this is just my explanatory of, of you know, trying to explain. <coughs> I only had a good one, two sips, and I'm burping my life out. Remember, as I always say, sign of a good beer. Um, yeah, very, very bitter beer, this. It's very hoppy. Um, very malty-ish. It 
sharp sweet bitterness there's icing again as I promised very very hoppy very sharp uh, on delivery with sweet mellow tones in it as well uh, so it's not all bad it's not all sharp um, you get the sharp come through first with the bitterness comes in as well straight off um, then it kind of mellows out a little bit and you get a, a dry finish that's kind of sharp um, but you, you also get left in the palette which I think is kind of cool um, a nice sort of sweet taste as well okay so it's, it's working the palette pretty well um, but before I go any further I must just say I think this is very very similar tasting to the Czech uh, check Budweiser so if you haven't seen that uh, my video is on here it's uh, the Budweiser Budvar video so that's Budweiser Budvar or is it spelled Budvar which is B-U-D-V-A-R I do believe um, very very similar beers to each other they taste very much alike although this Russian beer has that tendency to have a bit nice of a, a sweetness to it and the head is very different as well compared to the Czech one where the Czech one was just uh, your standard kind of head if you like and um, this then is a bit more gentle with a bit more character to it <coughs> I do apologize for me burping it's just me being rude as always um, yeah very impressed with this Do you know what? I would say hints of barley are getting through there as well. Once you had a good swash in the mouth, you really appreciate the taste of this. You do get a little bit of barley and an incredible amount of of, uh, of hop. But uh, it again, does leave you with a dry finish, as you know. And I always say, it, not a big lover of it. Can't stand the dry finishes. This though delivers a sweet after finish. But the mouthfeel itself is very light, um, I would say very somewhat bubbly in the mouth that you get like the tiny bubbles that really really work you over time, you know they're firing, firing, bang, pop, bang, pop and that's just what it does just in the mouth, it is just that but on a very very minor level and a very gentle way and um, that's kind of what it is, it's, it's like a a baby's bum, okay. It's a baby's bum. What I mean by that is very smooth. Not that I've touched baby's bums, but uh, yeah, there you go. Apparently very smooth. Again, very smooth with this in the aftertaste and in the palate. To be honest with you, I can imagine this game well with quite a lot of different foods. Probably more your lighter style of foods, maybe. Um, things like your salads, maybe the odd burger I suppose, and if you're eating anything greasy such as noodles, uh, fried vegetables and stuff like that, anything Chinesey um, would go down very well with this. Again, it's got the same texture, same similarities as the Czech Budweiser, and there's also a little bit of a giveaway of the hint of the Chinese beer Ting Sayo, which I've also done a review on, so if you haven't seen that, it's one of my older videos, so you're going to have to scroll down a lot when you hit my home page sadly as you know I do a lot of reviews uh, because I have my beer so yeah do check that out but uh, that, that's very similar to those two beers um, yeah so it goes well with most foods um, out of 10 what would I give it Ew, it's, it's, it's a close one to call um, it really is a close one I'm, I'm bordering on an 8 to a 9 so I'm going to split the difference and say eight and a half. Um, again, very similar to both beers of the Ting Sao and the Czech Budweiser, but if you merge them two together, this is probably the child of the two beers. <coughs> and by the seams of it, the amount of times I keep burping is just well. Let's be honest, it's fucking unreal, isn't it? Really. So for that reason, yeah, I've got to give it an eight point five from uh, Russia. So good old USSR, as they used to be called, have produced another good beer. 
Um, so yeah, by the way, uh, just before I go, I won't be doing a few videos now for a while because I'll be getting some new beers in from Iran. Um, oh, where was the other place? Uh, there's some there's some strange countries. Cameroon was another one. Um, Chile, which is I think is it classed as South America, Chile. Um, so yeah, I've got some interesting ones coming up soon, so stay tuned for those. They will be available very soon. But in the meantime, um, I will be having a little bit of a break from the uploads, obviously, just to just to go out and get these uh, imports of mine, and uh, I'll be doing a review on some of those coming very soon. So yeah, stay tuned for those, and uh, thanks for watching, viewers. Much appreciate it. Any newcomers, thanks for coming along and joining me today. Don't forget, you can always sub subscribe. <laughs> You can always subscribe and comment, as I've noticed a few of you have been doing lately, so thank you for the comments, and uh, yeah, thanks for everything else, so yeah. Until next time, when I've had my long break, I shall see you back when I feel good. So until next time, all the way from Russia, the beer with a windmill on it.